Hey, it's Cassie, and I am back with another uh, art journal page. We are going to play with some fun supplies today, some things that uh, maybe you don't know about and maybe you want to know about because they're super awesome. And um, we're just going to get right into it. So I first have these um, two watercolor tubes from Holbein Art. And one is opera pink or quinacridone opera. Uh, it's like the best pink ever. And ultramarine deep. So gorgeous. I can't, I was going to swear. <laughs> anyway, um, two of my favorite colors, really. Like they go so well together. These are actually my Christmas colors this year. So I'm very excited to use them. Also, I recently, uh, this year, found this new company called Simply Stated Design. And they're from Canada. But they make the coolest art ever. And, they, and the way that they print it is uh it looks like velvet i don't even know how this happens but i just have some little um some little die cut pieces of uh, butterflies here but i just real quick want to show you i highly recommend going to this website okay it's simply stated design.ca and they just they just have so many really cool um uh, designs and they have papers they have die cut printouts they have poster um bit pieces you know anyway so it's worth checking out i think they're pretty amazing and i think it's a pretty new company and it's family owned and all that which is great and i love um supporting small business so uh, i just wanted to show you these today in case you've never heard of them they're fantastic like look at this look at this Oh, and really, honestly, you need to see it in person to really appreciate the way that it's printed. Look at this one. Oh, my goodness. I just want to paint this. Isn't that beautiful? These are just butterflies. Like, they have everything. They have steampunk. They have, I'm sure they have holiday stuff, too. They have so many different um, designs. And so I thought with these two colors and I kind of, I went through my stash, I found this. This is just a really fun stencil. I don't know where I got it from. I've had it forever, but um, really, you know, you could use anything. So I am going to keep these out. I want to use these, at least a, one or two of them. Um, but I also just really wanted to tell you about the company. So maybe you could go and give them uh, a view so you can see what's going on. Look at that. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Okay, so um, yeah, we're just going to play. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do. I also am working in, this is um, Dina Wakely Ranger uh, Craft 6x6 journal. I think she has a 6x6. I, I think she still does. I know her journals have been changing recently, but anyway, this is 6x6 Craft Journal if you have one or if you can get one. I highly recommend it. Uh, there was also a, a larger one too, like more closer to 8 by 10 or something or 9 by 11 or I don't know, a, a larger uh, rectangle version. This paper is amazing. It's super thick. I mean, super thick, like the thickest craft paper I've ever seen. And it um, craft uh, as a surface, this color does some really interesting things when you put color on top of it. Um, normally I think of brown and I, I'm just not super interested, uh, but I swear there's something really cool and interesting that happens when you put color on top of this. It like, it makes it more somehow. I don't know how it works, but it's amazing. I'm addicted. I think I've filled two or three of these types of journals already because I love them so much. So we're just going to get started. I think I'm going to work on one page, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, and I wanted to try to do some different things with this watercolor. Now, normally when I get a tube of watercolor paint, I would put it into a pan or like a half pan and put it in with a set and let it sort of dry and set and then you you, you re-wet it to use it, right? Um, and that's the best way to get, um, to have long life with your watercolor. But I was like, you know, yeah, I do that all the time and sometimes I just wanna try something different and see what happens. So today we're just gonna play and we're gonna do some different things and try it a different way. Um, we all know, well, maybe you don't, but if you don't, there are many videos on how to fill a half pan and let it dry and then use it. And maybe you've even bought half pans already made and then you just re-wet them and use them. So you kind of know what to do there. So that's great. So we're going to use it in a slightly different way and see what we get. All right. So let's see. Um, 
I need a paintbrush. I've got a paintbrush. I also have a couple of uh, sponges here. I just, I want to try a few things. Okay. So let's just go. So first I'm going to put some of this uh, blue down. Oh, it's so pretty. Ultramarine Deep it's called. And this is Opera Pink or Quinacridone Opera. Um, and then I've got some sponges. I am going to, let's see. I want to use this. Have you ever watercolored through a stencil? Um, you know, I mean, let's try it. I don't know. I don't know if I ever have, honestly. So I've got some water over here. I think I'm going to start with a paintbrush. What happens if we get our paintbrush nice and wet and we pull some color and then we, uh, oh my God, look at that pink. Ooh, it's my favorite pink in the whole world. It's so good. Mm, it's so good. Ah, it's like, Oh, I don't know. It's just heaven. It's shocking and vibrant and gorgeous. So I'm just kind of pouncing, um, you know, just swirling, moving this color around. It's probably because it's fairly loose. It's probably going to go under the stencil and that's okay. I'm just trying to get some color down here in an interesting pattern and, and just see, like, let's see what happens when we use a paintbrush and watercolor paint through a stencil, a little bit more water, keep it nice and loose. Look at this color. I mean, geez, this is amazing. Okay. So, and I obviously, you know, don't care if it's covering the whole area of the stencil. I'm just kind of swirling. I've never done this. <laughs> I've never put watercolor paint through a stencil. So we're just going to see what we get and it's going to be fun no matter what. Okay. So here we go. I think that's pretty good. Let's see what we've got here. Let's see what kind of coverage we get. Okay, not so bad. It did go through a little bit here and there. It's kind of messy, but it's fun and I'm liking it. Um, what if we, we've got watercolor left here. What if we take uh, our um, squirt bottle and just get it wet, right? And then maybe put it on the other side. Mm, I need a paper towel. And then I'm just gonna like pounce. I'm not gonna, here we go. Let's see what we get. Oh yeah, look at that. Fantastic. Ooh, ooh that's pretty. Okay, I am gonna use the, I'm gonna do this again. Let's put this here um, because there's more here. I'm gonna do it on the other page so I don't waste it because this color is out. Do you see what I'm saying about it like popping even more? I don't know how that happens because it's a brown page, but I guess I need to embrace brown a bit more too. Mm, mm, mm. Look at this, next gen, next generation, still really good coverage. Look at that, oh, so good. Okay, um, okay, I'm gonna wipe this off. Um, here we go. And we're gonna keep that there. I kinda wanna play with the blue. Let's see. Maybe I'm gonna dry this first. Even though if I spritz this, once it's dry and I spritz it with water, it's still gonna reactivate because it's watercolor, okay? So just remember that. Okay, I just had an idea when I was drying it. I kinda wanna do the opposite now. So what I'm thinking is um, offset it a little bit right, and use a different area. But I wanna put solid blue over here and kinda of overlay this a little and then flip it and then put the blue on top of this side and see what we get and sort of like play off of each other. So I'm gonna clean my brush. I need some fresh water over here to dip into. Okay, and so now I'm gonna pull some blue over here and some water and we're gonna get it nice and loose. The reason I'm adding water is just to loosen it up because this is like almost like a gel. Can you see how it's, it doesn't fall off the brush. It's kind of thick. Um, it's great. And we could even play with that and see what we get. But um, actually that might not be a bad idea. Mm. Let's do that actually. Hold on. I just got this. We'll use that for something, but Let's just try it. I've got a sponge here. I got the sponges out because I was like, what happens if I do this? So I'm just going to pounce it like I would like maybe acrylic paint or something. And I kind of feel like I need a tiny bit of water because this is really thick. 
but let's just see what happens. Yeah, we get a really deep color. Mm, that's pretty. Okay, now I need more blue because I, I'm using it all. Hold on. Okay, let's get a little bit more. Okay, this is really interesting. This might be not a great way to use your watercolor paint <laughs> out of the tube, but mm, I don't know, it could be interesting. This is why we experiment and just play and figure it out. Okay, I'm pouncing. I'm kind of hitting it hard because I really, uh, it's just so dry, oh my gosh. It's very thick and, and I don't think, I mean, I'm doing it because, you know, we, we need to see what happens, but I don't think I would recommend using your paint like this. <gasps> woo, woo, look at that. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Wow, that's really like rich and saturated. Oh my goodness. Wow, that's beautiful. That's so beautiful. Okay, um, you know what I wanna do? I want to move this out of the way for just a second. I wanna put more of this do this. I really want this to be like to have a lot of paint on it because I think it's going to be really cool when I do the reverse, you know, the, the negative. That looks fun. Okay. This would be a fun tattoo, wouldn't it? Ooh, yes. Okay. All right. So now I've got all this paint on here. We did a little extra because I really want it to, oh yeah, I see it already. It's going to be so good. Are you ready? This is my favorite. Okay. Yay. Yay. Okay. I haven't even seen it yet. I'm very excited. So now I get my paper towel, get the cleanest area I can. I'm just kind of pressing, not too hard. Okay, and then are you ready? Are you ready? Ooh, oh my goodness. Oh, it didn't get any down there. That's okay. Look at that blue on top of the pink though. Oh, it's magical. It's so magical. Okay, I'm gonna use some of the rest of this on my other page here, just like I did before. I'm just pressing down. I'll show you what it looks like in a second. I think I'm a little off camera here. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I can't even stand it. Do you guys look at, look at, mm, look at these colors together. Aren't they magnificent? You know what? I bet too. I really like that this is more crisp, but I kind of also just want to play and see what happens if we get a little water in there. Yeah, look at it. It's that watercolor is like, yay, thank you for water. Now I can move around. Mm hmm. See what's happening? So if you want it to be less crisp and a little bit more fluid looking, give it some water. Mm, that's so pretty. Okay, I'm really, really, really loving what's happening right here. Like that is just magical to me. All right, um, I'm pretty dry, mostly, I think. I do have all this paint left here and I do wanna use it. Um. Do I want to use it with another stencil? Maybe I do. Okay, I've got my men stencil set and I have the mask and the stencil and I think I want the stencil. I'm just thinking this through as we go. I don't, um, I don't plan these videos ahead. I just know kind of what I want to use each time. So um, I'm just, I'm making it, Live in person with you. Um, okay, so let's see. I want to, yeah, I want I want to like fill in some of the space around. I think I'm gonna put a quote in the middle. Maybe, I, I definitely wanna use one or two of the butterflies. I think I wanna make like a frame around the middle so I can put my words, you know, I'm gonna use my new quote sheets to put something, some quote in the middle. And so I, I, what I'm thinking in my head right now is I just want to use this paint, maybe with another stencil, maybe just free <coughs> brush strokes, I'm not sure. But I think I really just wanna make a frame around a cent the center, keep the center free, sort of, to, yeah, to have the phrase in there. So that's where my brain is right now, just so you know, what am I thinking about? What am I trying to do? I think I want a guy down here. I've got blue loaded, so I'm just gonna go for it. Mm -mm -mm. All right, I'm gonna try to stay within the stencil. And I see that it's like oh, um, translucent. You know, you can kind of see what's going on underneath, and I'm, I think I'm happy with that. So I'm, I'm being gentle. You know, because I, I kind of do want to keep as much of this stencil 
shape, you know, as much as I can. I don't mind if it goes through a little bit, but I think I just, I'm trying to make like a ghost of a shape here. Yeah, that's perfect. That's just right. And I might even outline it once it's dry. But I do, I kind of like, you can see a little bit of the pink through there. It's watercolory. You know, it's really nice. Okay. Okay. I'm making this a little bit thicker because I love this pink. It's super vibrant and just like knock your socks off kind of. So um, I'm going to put this person up here and let's see. Again, I want to, ooh, look at that. Ooh. I'm so excited. Okay, sorry. Pink excites me a little too much, probably. Okay. So, yeah, just gonna. I'm not trying to overwork it because if I move that blue around too much, I'm gonna get purple, and I really want this guy to be as pink as possible. Maybe uh -huh, we'll just do it. I was gonna say, don't go into the next page, but too late. Okay. It's fine. We're just making one page today, but um, I'm sure I can make that other page a continuation of this or something. That'd be pretty cool. Okay, so there we go. Oh, it's so gorgeous already. I don't even have to, yes. This one's a bit more messy, but I don't even care. It's obviously a person. And when I outline it, it, I, I, you know, it helps to kind of clean up the edges a little bit. So I think I'm done with that person. That's pretty amazing. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna go like, you know, messy brush strokes. I've got a lot of this pink left and can't really ever have too much pink. So we're even gonna go over him a little bit. And again, we can outline him so he stands out a little bit more. Okay, that's amazing. That blue is really strong um, because it's darker, but the pink is also great because it's so bold, you know, and they're, they are really are like fighting against each other in the most beautiful way. I just want to offer you another way to like clean up your mess here. Um, I really love not wasting. So, um, I started to do this and I thought maybe I should do this on camera. So, um, I have my second page over here that's sort of like picking up the excess and helping to experiment. And, um, you know, one thing I like to do is just smush and kind of twist and see what I get. Look, oh, it's just magical. Look, we're, we're getting a little bit of purple there because it's mixing. So I'm going to let that dry. That's going to be a really nice start to a second page. And then the rest of this I can clean up. Okay, I have this chrome ink marker from Arteza and I'm really obsessed with it. And I think it would work really well with this page. So I'm going to outline the people that I made with this. Oh, it's magical. It's so good. Okay, am I dry? Yes, it's dry. It is literally like you uh, have a metallic mirror. I don't know, just chrome, not mirror, but chrome. I don't know, it's just magical. And it especially, if you have um, a journal with black paper in it, oh, it looks so good. Look at, oh, it's so good. I'm totally obsessed. Um, I use it in my black um, uh, Jane Davenport journal all the time. And it is just very addictive. I want to make a whole journal with just chrome ink. And I also have some gold watercolor paint. I can't remember who makes it, but um, I use those together and just have like gold and silver pages. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my gosh, it's so amazing. It's it's like, it's crazy good. Anyway, okay. Um, that's amazing. So let's see. I'm going to get my quote. I'm going to play with these butterflies a little bit next, I think. This uh, is bugging me. See how this keeps like going up like that? Get yourself um, a clip. A journal clip it's just really helpful now it's laying nice and flat and I can play I don't know it just bugs me so here we go I want to stick this down and I printed it on sticker paper so I can just use the paper to stick it but if you print it on regular paper you could use matte medium you could use um, just regular art glue whatever you have will be fine a glue stick is great um, I'm really loving this font and the fact that it's a little bit bigger 
than other quote sheets I've used. I use quote sheets all the time and I finally decided to make my own. You know, I can have the phrases I want and the, the backgrounds I want and the, the um, font that I want and everything. So um, I made them for myself, but then I thought, well, maybe other people will want them too. So if you go to my Etsy shop, which will be in the description um, of this video, you can get your own quote sheets from me. Uh, and they're amazing because they're digital downloads. So you download them, you print them with your printer right away. You've got them to use right away. And the really great part of that is that um, you can reprint them over and over again. So if you have a favorite page or a favorite quote or whatever, you can print that page a hundred times if you want and have it forever. So I think that's really great. Also, if you want to leave me any suggestions for other quotes or fonts or background colors or styles of quote sheets that you would like, uh, let me know because I plan to make lots more of them because I'm addicted now. And, um, so I would love to have your feedback on that, just as an aside there. Um, yeah, these are super fun. And like you can get, you can also get sticker paper at, you know, um, office supply store, you can get online, wherever you shop online, and then just print it on sticker paper like I'm doing now. And then you don't have to worry about glue because it's already done for you, okay? Amazing. Okay, so now, um, yeah, I think I want this butterfly a little closer. I think I want this one like right here. You see how that putting this down helps me sort of frame the rest of it and decide what I want. I do think I want this one and he's going to go off the page a little bit. That helps your eye be able to go outside of the page and not feel stuck and confined. Just like he's off and he's off a little bit. So I like this. This has a nice flow to it, if you can see that. So I've got some um, glitter glue here. Actually, this is this is barely art glue in a glitter glue bo bottle. <laughs> Don't ask. <laughs> it just happened that way. I am a little disorganized generally, so I'm just like, whatever's close by, just make it work. Okay. Uh, so, but you definitely, art glitter glue is fabulous, and so is barely art glue. So, use whatever you like. Definitely a glue stick would work here, too. This just happened to be in front of me, and that's why I'm using it. There's so many different kinds of glue out there, you know? There's a glue for every single kind of project and every surface, so. And I definitely think I have all of them. <laughs> All right, so the only thing I'm making sure here is that these sort of fit in with the spacing of everything and that one of them at least goes off the page. I'm going to sadly cut the end of that wing off. Um, all right, so let me dry this, make sure the glue is set, and then I'm going to do some more outlining. Okay, I'm coming back with my chrome marker because why not? Make sure... Sometimes if it doesn't look quite as chromey as you think it should, you just need to pump it a little bit and give it a good shake and that um, that brings it all back. So I'm definitely gonna outline the phrase and these butterflies because I can't help myself. They do make a thinner uh, chrome marker too than this one. Like they have a fine point and this more broad point. And I have both of them, but this is the one near me. So I'm just gonna use it because who cares? but I just want you to know that it exists. And I don't mind that that's a thicker outline because it's absolutely gorgeous and a little bit more extra chrome in your life is never a bad thing as far as I'm concerned. But if you don't have or want to use chrome, uh, I'll just offer other choices. Of course, Posca pens are great. Any, um, <coughs> any acrylic paint pens you have are great. If you have gel pens or like, you know, jelly roll pens or something like that, or those new Karen gel pens, oh, or K is that how you say it? K-A-R-I-N. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but you know what I'm talking about, hopefully. Um, those are fantastic. So, you know, get whatever pens, markers, uh, paint, whatever you like that speaks to you, that feels good for your page. Use that, okay? And then... Maybe if you feel so inclined, you could share it with me on social media. I would love to see anything that you make. Just tag me in it. 
a Cassandra Louise, um, you know, or join one of my groups or whatever. I would just want to see what you're working on so we can all cheer each other on. And um, okay, I'm wondering, is there a way I can do some splatter? Because I mean, look at, see the chrome? It's so good. Okay. Um, I kind of want chrome splatter. Do you think that's possible? Let's see if I can make it happen. <gasps> there it is. Oh, yes. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Okay. I probably have to stop, though. Okay. I don't recommend doing that a lot with your markers. Ooh, look at I'm turning into chrome. I'm going to be the Terminator soon. Sorry, that was a bad joke. Um, I don't recommend doing that a lot with your markers because I think it can make them leak over time, but... You know, I don't have another way to get chrome and look at, oh my gosh, it's so amazing. Yay. Okay. So uh, I think I'm done for today. This is fantastic. We used um, some really great, uh, this is new for me anyway, but definitely they have been around forever making amazing paints and they have a full range of fine art um, paints. This is from Holbein. This is watercolor tubes of paint, but they definitely also do acrylic and oil and like all the things. And um, they have some really, really great products. I love using them. Every time I've, I've been really impressed. I mean, look at the, the saturation of color is amazing. Um, and yeah, the quality is really fantastic. I love Holbein art uh, materials. And then also this new company, Simply Stated Designs. Let me see. Here we go simplystateddesign.ca. Uh, the, the link for this will be in the description. I don't have any affiliate link for them. I just found them earlier this year and fell in love. And so I just want you all to know about it. Plus, I really love supporting small business and they're definitely a small business. And I would say definitely go uh, give them some love and go check out their products as well. They are in Canada, but you know, you can definitely order from wherever. And then, of course, we use the Arteza Chrome Ink Marker. Really, really great. I'm completely addicted to it and in love. We have my new art journal quotes, which you can find on my Etsy shop, also in the description. But it's, um, if you're on Etsy, it's Cassie's Parlor, K-A-S-S-Y-S-P-A-R-L-O-U-R. But again, that description is in the link below. And, um, please go check out my page. I've got lots of great art journal uh, digital supplies so you can download them right away and use them immediately. Uh, and that's it. So yay, I love this page. I really hope you found some inspiration and had a good time with me today. I hope that you got your journal out and made some art with me. Um, I would really, really love to hear about that if you did. If you didn't, go grab your art supplies right now and get started. Uh, there's no time like the present. Please go make some art. I love you all. Thanks so much. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.